Hello, I'm Donna from Silver Class and I'd like to share a story with you. It's a bit of a silly one. It's called Don't Put Your Pants on Your Head, Fred. Hope you like it too. Don't put your pants on your head, Fred. Don't put your pants on your head, Fred. Don't wear six pairs at a time. Are you sure those pink frillies are yours, Fred? I'm thinking that maybe they're mine. Don't wear those boxers again, Fred. They're crawling around on their own. Where are your clean ones? Here, try these green ones. Get moving or mum won't half moan. Do your briefs give you grief in the morning? Do your knickers get tied up in knots? Are you forced to wear tight, itchy brown ones? Or long floppy grey ones with spots. Mum tells me to change my pants daily, but I can't decide which ones to choose. Then Kate says, don't worry, just do what I say. We'll soon sort your pants, clothes and shoes. Put on some undies, there's lots in the drawer. Make sure they're fresh and not picked off the floor. Get warm woolly blue ones. So what if they're tight? One foot in each leg hole. No, no, that's not right. Pants go on first, then put trousers on top. Now do up your buttons, don't jiggle, don't hop. Your shirt's inside out, and those socks aren't a pair. Now tie up your laces and do comb your hair. I slump in my room in confusion. My clothes are just driving me balmy. So I send my best pilot to ask for support from the head of Her Majesty's army. Dear Sergeant Smart, can you help me? I hope you don't think I'm a pest, but I'm, it's taking me most of the morning just to put on my pants and my vest. I know that I have to wear undies. I can't stay in my pyjamas all day. So please can I join in your training and learn to dress smartly someday. The next day, there's a ring on the doorbell. There's a horse here to see you, yells Kate. The horse lands, hands me a note from the sergeant. It says, come to the fort, don't be late. We gallop through gardens and parkland and race through a field full of sheep. But when we arrive at the fortress, the soldiers are still fast asleep. Oh, there you are, Fred, yawns the sergeant. Come straight upstairs to our room. We've got an exciting inspection today. The Queen says she'll be here at noon. But it's half past eleven already, I cry. Aren't you meant to be up, washed and dressed? Quick, wake up the soldiers. There's no time to lose. You must all look your finest and best. But no one knows how, says the sergeant, and he looks round the room in dismay. It only takes you half the morning to dress. We've been trying to do it for days. But you're meant to be experts, I stutter. I was hoping that you could teach me. But do what I say and we should be okay. Now what did Kate say? Let me see. Ah, yes. Yeah. Pick up some undies, there's lots on the floor. They won't itch and scritch if you've worn them before. One arm in each leg hole, three pairs at a time. If you can't find your own pants, then wear some of mine. Pajamas go under, then pants on the top. Tie your laces together, it helps you to hop. When your shirt, wear your shirt inside out, put your socks on a pair. Leave your buttons undone and then mess up your hair. The soldiers rush round in a panic. They grab all the pants they can find. They struggle and wiggle, fall over and giggle, then march out in a wobbly line. They have pants round their ankles and pants up their legs. They have pants on their elbows and pants on their head. There are pants on their drumsticks and pants on their hats. 
and someone has even put pants on the cat. How's that? beams the sergeant. We're ready. Are you sure? I say. Something looks weird. Ah, yes, says the sergeant. Quick, pass me a pen. I forgot my moustache and beard. Oh, my word, cries the Queen with a giggle. That's not how you're supposed to get dressed. You're supposed to take off your pyjamas, then put on clean pants and vest. Now pull on your trousers and t-shirt. Or you could wear a skirt or a dress. If it's cold, wear a jumper, a jacket or coat. Then you'll all look your finest and best. So we quickly get changed in the fortress, and much to the sergeant's delight, we pass the inspection. Well done, cheers the Queen. This time you have got it just right. We line up and stand to attention, then to show off the effort we've made, we march out to the sound of the drummers on our very own Royal Pants Parade. They got there in the end. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed that. Keep smiling and stay well and hopefully I can see you all really soon. Bye bye.